Welcome to Custom Cabinets and Racks instructional video. We have just swapped the door over from a left hand hinge to a right hand hinge and now our block off panel has the opening at the top and we'd rather have it at the bottom for airflow purposes. So here we're going to walk you through how to remove the airflow uh, block off panel and move it to the top of the door. Chris is going to come in and remove the uh, acorn head screws excuse me, the acorn nuts and the washers that hold the panel in place and we're going to switch that so that the open area of the door is at the bottom rather than at the top. This is removing the nuts and the washers. And he'll retain those for use for reinstallation. He's now turned the panel over. Chris, you got a washer on that top right. There is a hole at the top of the panel which aligns with the stud at the top of the door. You see him putting the washer and nut on it to verify that the panel has been located properly. And now he will reinstall the rest of the washers and the rest of the nuts on the air block off panel. There are 11 washers and 11 nuts that need to be accounted for. Make sure the stud is fully through the panel. Place the washer over the stud. Now tighten all of the nuts. Now the only thing left to do is reattach the ground strap as shipped by Custom Cabinets and Racks.
the stud at the bottom of the door to be used with the ground strip has been cleaned and is free of paint around the stud for proper bonding and grounding. This is now securing the ground strap to the door. Inside the frame, it will be necessary, after Christmas is tightened up here, I'll show you, on the other end, to remove the masking tape that is inside the frame. He's using the bolt for the ground strap to push that piece of masking tape out of the way. He now peels the masking tape off, sets it aside, makes sure he has a nice clean surface, and resecures the ground strap. Now tighten everything up. He's reattaching the eight cord nuts and washers to the unused studs to avoid any sharp edges. And he'll now test the fitment of the door as it is now hinged on the right side. And the installation is complete. Thanks for joining us and come back for our next video.